this is Nina from the Happy Hippie and I am here to do yet another For Whomever reading. So if you were drawn here by the title of this reading, then there's definitely a message from Spirit in here for you. So today I'm using the Tarot of Traditions and I'm also using a new deck that I was gifted from the Tarot Wang called Oracle of the Mythic Heroes. So that's that. Now, I think we're going to start with the Oracle deck. I'm going to shuffle a little bit and we are going to choose three cards as an overall energy for your reading today. So I don't know what the, this reading is going to be about, but you do since you have already seen the title. So let's just shuffle three times. Make sure that they are good and shuffled. And we will see if some fall out or if we're going to draw today. It feels like I have to draw today. Yeah. Okay. That's not a problem. So let us see what you get here. Cleanse. Sirens. Also the last quarter moon. Humor. Numa. And... We have Jason with Adventure, and this is connected to Sagittarius, and this is connected to Gemini. Underneath, you got Pegasus. This is actually the new moon, Assistance. Okay. Let me just sink into these energies uh, while I shuffle the tarot, just to see where Spirit wants to guide me today. Hmm, okay. Okay. I'm going to draw the tarot cards um, before I start talking about things here. Let's just straighten those out a little bit. Um, yeah. And that one just wanted to pop. Yeah, that makes total sense to me. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is about nourishment. Um, of course, it is about a woman. It can be a woman in a earth sign. But it's very much the motherly energy. So it can be a mother. Um, you can be a mother. It can be that energy. But it is an energy of nurturing is what I feel today okay and I, and that makes sense with the assistance and the cleanse card here but let us pull some more cards to see you have the four ones which is celebration that's good oh wow well things are gonna go good for you the sun the fool and the four of cups there's an offer okay Underneath you have the Five of Pentacles because this is the underlying energy that you might not see about yourself or that might be underlying that you're not showing out to people. So this is a reason why you need the reading, right? <clears throat> it is about feeling left outside. It is about uh, maybe not being seen and heard. It is about maybe being left behind. Maybe somebody turned their back on you. It can also be about, <clears throat> excuse me, the feeling of lack. Uh, it can also be feeling of, you know, I need more money. I, I, I can't make ends meet. You know, these kind of energies. And underneath there you have the strength and the seven of cups. Okay. Okay, so I feel like you have been, you know, you have been weighing your options. You have been standing strong. You have been trying to make this work. But this is kind of the way you feel about it. Okay. So... It's a feeling of lack. It's a feeling of I, I didn't get what I wanted here. I wasn't heard. I wasn't seen. I wasn't respected. Somebody left me behind. Uh, you know, somebody pushed me away. Those kind of emotions uh, here. So you kind of, you've been trying to stand up strong for a while. But now you're feeling like, okay, you know, I don't know what to do here because I'm not getting what I need. Okay. That's the underlying energy. And that's why they are saying assistance here. So assistance is here from spirit for you, okay? 
it is about the new moon. I, I know this is a little bit upside down when it comes to the moon images, but this is actually the new moon. And so the new moon for me is about starting something new. There is a new cycle for you. It's a possibility for a new cycle. Okay. So they're saying cleanse. And cleanse, um, of course, means that there might be energies around you that's not good for you. There might be people around you that's not good for you. There might be something that you're eating or drinking that's not good for you. So you have to feel into what that cleanse means for you. But there is definitely an invitation for you to change something in your energy field, whether it be eating, drinking, people, uh, tasks, projects, you know, uh, spending too much money or holding back too much money or you know you have to feel into what that means for you but there is something that's kind of off balance that is in need of being let go okay and there is a cleansing needed of some sort of energy I just need some water just a second <clears throat> so they're saying also in the middle humor Okay, and it's it's also connected to the sign of Gemini. So there might be a Gemini in your vicinity that is a kind of fun person to be around. If that's you, then maybe you should try and contact that person, spend some more time with that person. Not to shy away from what is in need of being cleansed, but maybe... If, if this work is taking a lot of time and taking a lot of effort from you, you can take a break every now and then and just get into the energy of humor or into the energy of joy. But also they're saying that once you have cleansed all of this, once you have looked at what needs to be looked at, then you can step into the energy of joy. So you have to feel what resonates for you here. But I do feel what they're asking you to do is the willingness to look upon your own feeling of lack, okay? Because a feeling of lack is most often correct, but sometimes it is our own ego making it into being lack when it is actually not. And also remember, even though you have a feeling of lack or feeling of being pushed aside or feeling of um, I'm not getting what I wanted or what I need here, if that is the case, remember that spirit is always working for you, okay? Uh, so this is not happening to you, it's happening for you. Because if you are being uh, pushed out of something, it is a purpose behind it. So for me, that means that they have something better for me, okay? So there is a point here being made by spirit that maybe it's okay to cleanse from these people, cleanse from these energies right now, because there are something different, something better coming towards you, okay? And that makes sense with the Four of Cups over here, which is actually an offer that you are not seeing right now. You see that person staring down at these three cups? Oh, this is all I have, but I wanted more. Hello? Can you turn around and see this cup from, from spirit, from the universe coming towards you? So there is definite, because this is also future, so there is definitely something coming to you. And you need to trust that. That's what the, why the fool comes in, okay? Because... I'm, I'm feeling maybe you're having problems trusting in uh, the divine purpose right now. Maybe you're having trouble trusting in the fact that spirit is working for you, you know? Uh, and that's when we get into this energy here because we are like, but why isn't this happening for me? You know, uh, I thought that I was had come far on my journey or I thought I'd been working so hard, you know, with the strength card underneath there and everything. And it's still not happening for me. It is, but it might come in a different way, or it might come later than you wanted. But you have the sun card here, so everything's going to turn out fine. You have the four of which is celebration. But you need to focus on your nourishment, your self-nourishment, and cleanse these energies. And maybe you have to look at your own ego a little bit too. You know, what is ego really telling me about this situation? Is ego making this into being a lot worse than it really is? You know, just a question. You also have adventure here with Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is, of course, a fire sign. And that's power. That's um, passion. That's moving forward. So there's definitely possible. And this is also kind of future over here. So definitely something is going to happen that is going to give you more energy, that is going to propel you in the right direction. And that's going to create an adventure, a new adventure for you. So there is a new offer of a new ad adventure for you. Okay? But there is something you definitely need to look at within you 
first and cleanse that energy. Let it go now. If somebody hurt you, if somebody pushed you aside, if there, if this is a bad breakup or if you lost a job or if there's friends that's turning their back on you or family or whatever, feel it through. Take the time. That's why the Queen of Pentacles is there. Self-nourishment. Take the time. Feel it through. Let it go. That in there lies the cleansing. And use their assistance to help you. Okay? They can fill you up with new high potent frequent high frequency energy that is healing and help you through this cleansing process. So ask them to come in, allow them to to do that for you or to help you with that cleansing. And once you have done that, then you can let it go for a while. Maybe you have to do it more than once, you know, take that as it resonates, but let it go for a while, stepping into the energy of, of joy. And through humor, I mean, as I said, it can be a Gemini that is that is an, a really humorous person in your vicinity. But if, if that's not a person, then maybe watch some fun shows, uh, rewatch Friends, you know, Friends episodes or, or whatever show that you love that can make you laugh a little bit so that you get into that energy. And then you can always come back to if you need to cleanse more. But every now and then you need to take a break. And that's also part of the uh, self-nourishment also is taking care of you. Don't let ego drag you into saying that oh this is all so sad and all oh, this is going to take forever to work on no you work on it when it comes up when you feel it you know you have to be very very uh, uh listening very very carefully to your emotions right now so when the feelings are telling you now i need time for me now i need a good cry now i need to sit down and journal about it now i need to call my therapist you know uh, or, or counselor then, then you do that when it happens and then you can let something go and then maybe you can step into the energy of joy and the next time it comes up again, you do the same, okay? Until there is nothing left and that is the cleansing, okay? It can take maybe one day, it can take six months, who knows, you know? It all depends on what it is that needs the cleansing in you, okay? So that's kind of uh, what I'm feeling here. So I'm going to end uh, today by these fun new cards that I got called Fortune Cookies and um, see what extra messages Spirit has for you today. But I do see, I mean, when the Sun card is here and the Four of Wands, uh, which is celebration, uh, I, I definitely feel like this is going to go fine for you, okay? You're going to get through this. Things are going to get bright and light. There's new adventures with both the Fool and the Adventure card and the Four of Cups with a new offer. There's definitely a promise for something totally new and a fun, new, bright energy coming towards you. But you do have some work to do before that happens, okay? So let us look at... Oh, one just flew out. Reinvent yourself, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that fun? A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. Wow, that is just so to the point. It's so fun when the when the cards kind of uh, emphasize what we have been uh, feeling. That's so fun. Oh, one more that flew out. Positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. Yeah, so that might be a message for somebody as well. But a positive outcome definitely is what they're promising here see it's one last card is the one that wanted to pop or do i have to draw let's see one two three we'll draw the last card okay let's see what that is for you one last card one last message from spirit commitment yeah a commitment is indicated around love or business it will make you feel better. So they're asking you to really commit to this now because it's important for your journey, for your forward movement. You have to move this energy, you see. Uh, you know, often when we have experienced trauma or we have experienced, you know, bad breakups, we have experienced sad things, grief, those kind of things, the energy um, of those kind of things vibrates quite low on the frequency. So they kind of get stuck in the system. They, they get stuck in your emotional system. And in order for that to be released, we have to invite a more faster 
moving energy, which is high frequent energy into our system. And it will rattle these kind of slow moving energies within us. And those energies are emotions that needs to be felt through the nervous system in order to be released. Okay. So that's what's kind of happening energy wise in you. So it takes time. Okay. This, this is about energy movement frequency and that m moves in the way it moves we can't really change it so we just have to be patient and allow it but you as a human person together with your soul um, need to allow it to happen okay so you can you can choose not to do it but then of course the energy will be still there uh, so the invitation here is to really commit to allowing these energies to move out of your system now, okay? To be replaced by a high frequent energy, which is the energy of love and joy, okay? Uh, so it is a healing in, in the entire process that you, that you are about to uh, get into here, I feel, okay? So I hope this made sense for you. I'm wishing you a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Until the next time I see you.